our first episode of the Bathtub Chronicles, as we like to call it, we're going to discuss some real life fitness memes and things that are said to us on a constant daily basis. So what's the first one, Erin? Don't get too thin. Right. Don't get too thin. Okay, listen. We in the bodybuilding world eat more than any human beings alive ever. Okay, literally we eat like elephants. <laughs> We're constantly eating, we're constantly thinking about what we're eating, we constantly eat the right balances and proportions of food. No one is starving themselves to get stage lean. We eat six to seven times a day. All day and long. it is part of the sport to get very lean, but it is a science. And it's also a one day look. So when you see us in the off season, like me right now in the middle of my dirty ball, can people are like, oh, you lift? You compete? You let like yourself together? go. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yes, there's there's muscle in here. There's a whole process. So to build inside. muscle, you have to eat. You're gonna and get fat. You build that muscle and then you get rid of the fat after. It's a it's a long process, you need patience for it, but there is a science to it. And my next favorite is if you're a girl in the gym and you're not on cardio equipment and you touch a weight, they're like, you're gonna look like a you're gonna get too bulky. Don't get, get too, too big. big. Don't get too big. So first you hear, don't get too skinny. And now you hear, don't get too big. You're gonna look like a man. How about, you need to eat a burger. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. You need to go eat. One, one piece won't hurt you. Yeah, one slice of cake. <laughs> one piece will hurt you guys. Okay, listen, this is an extreme sport. We go to extreme. And it is a sport. Not it is for everyone. Extreme. It's not for everyone. This is not everyday health. It's not 365 days a year. No. So three month prep, whether you do 12 weeks, 16 weeks, and you dirty bulk too much, a 20 week prep, I'm just saying. It's real. <sighs> oh, when your friends kind of disown you and stop inviting you to things because they're like, Oh, she's not gonna come because she can't eat anything. Or, when oh. can you eat real food? Right. I eat seven times a day. And All it's the we real eat is most, real food. We eat natural well. lean food that's created on this Chicken, earth. Chicken, fish, rice, vegetables, Lots plants, vegetables. nuts, seeds. But because we don't eat shit deep fried in oil 365 days a year, we're not real people and we're not worthy of being invited to happy hour and to dinner and to this and to that. So it does get a little isolating and old because nobody appreciates it and nobody understands it but you know but then you have friends that are doing weight watchers and they're like all supportive of each other yay but if you're if you're in the bodybuilding community you're a freak eating out of tupperware everyone's like what are you eating but if you Hashtag eat top life if you eat a bag from a fast food restaurant no one questions you you can eat fake food and no one questions you at all but right. tupperware it's like oh yeah. that looks horrible i think it's delicious <laughs> Because it's real food. I spice it up. I add variety. I don't eat the same thing every day. And listen, we do eat normal people food, okay? If you've been following any of our Instagram or any of our stuff from this trip, we've eaten like seven plates of dessert at a time in one day every day. We're on vacation, guys. But we're on vacation. So it's all about balance and moderation in life. But... There are just so many misconceptions about bodybuilding. And let me explain this real quick too. There are different levels of bodybuilding. Everybody thinks bodybuilder and they think Arnold Schwarzenegger like with long hair. That's true women's bodybuilding. There is bikini, there's figure, there's physique, and then there's women's bodybuilding. Each level requires slightly more muscle and to be slightly leaner. So bikini is what we competed in. And it's just where you would have a bikini body, like the ideal body that you would see on the beach wearing a bikini. And they then, do look for certain symmetry. You do have to have a certain muscle proportion and a certain shape. And, you know, that's why there is a science to it. Just oh, my other favorite real quick talking about bikini <laughs> is when I say I'm a bikini competitor and everybody says, oh, you mean like wet t-shirt college bikini? Like you say the word bikini and that's what people instantly think yeah, of. Yeah, Hawaiian tropic dancing with beach balls. Right. The no, that, that, is, that is so not what we do. <laughs> we don't shred our stuff. We show our hard work. Right. And it's a challenge to get to that way. And we all know what the other competitors put in to get that look. And you guys as non-fitness people see, oh, look at her butt. Look at her boobs. Look at all this stuff. And we see, I can see her glute hamstring tie in. I can't see her tie in. Look at her triceps. Her shoulders are too broad. Like that's the kind of stuff that we see. And that's what we look at. Like nothing 
is remotely sexual once you get into this sport. It's literally all about it's muscle anatomy. And it's the human body, and it's what did she have to do to get that look? What can I do better? It's just an internal challenge. And for me, it's the, they always say it's the journey, not stage day. It's about getting to stage day. You just learned that the fact that you were dedicated that whole time, it just, it's an accomplishment, really. I, I do agree it's the experience and you know, it's just, it's cool to see it. something all the way through to start something and yeah. to see it through to the end. Personal challenge. But at the end of the day, yeah, I want to win. This happens to me, Pretty much a lot. Oh, I can't, I can't have that because I'm training for something. Oh, you're on a diet, or what do they say? Like, my favorite is so when you say I'm a competitor, what do you do? Ah, <sighs> like nobody understands it. When yeah, you they say, say oh, it's not like, bodybuilding, right? And it's like, because uh, I just say, oh, fitness, a fitness competition. They're like, not bodybuilding, right? And that's when you get the don't look like a man, or they get like, why would you do that? And then what about why waste your time just for 15 seconds on stage? That's true. Yeah. Or, or they say, oh, I have actual things to do. I don't have time to play around in the gym. They say it in little nicer ways, but they're like, oh, it must be nice to have free time for I that. I wish I had time to do that. That's my favorite. I wish I had easy. the time that you have. Oh, because that's right. I work a full-time job and have four kids split between three different households, or two different households, excuse me. But, you know, we all have the same 24 hours. You have to prioritize. Competing isn't for everyone, but if you have a goal, you have to commit to it and make it important enough to do. Because the truth behind any commitment is if it's important enough to you, you will make the time to do it. Yep. And the, the one of the things that I heard that stuck with me the most about it is next time you say, I don't have time, instead of saying that, say it's not a priority and see if your mindset changes. Because the truth is you do have time. We have time for everything. If it's important to us, you can make the time, you can find the time. But it's just not a priority, and you'll find a million excuses not to do it. But that is my favorite. What I, I wish I had the time that you had. So if you have any questions about bodybuilding or just anything that we do in general, just ask. Just like you would never say to somebody, don't get too fat if they're eating a cupcake. Don't say, you need to eat a burger you're getting too skinny, talking about anyone's look, it's not helping them. If you're not adding value, or if they are trying to achieve something personally or physically, try not to put them down because it does stick with them and it could actually push them away from their personal goals, so. And I feel like you need to go back to kindergarten. Like, if you don't have something nice and positive, and uplifting to say to someone don't say anything and so even though you know you always say social media is the highlight reel we don't have per perfect lives even though we are fit majority of the time it's still tough to get comments <laughs> it's still tough when people are putting you down you think oh she's perfect it must be easy for her she must be lucky it's just as hard to get skinny comments fat comments you're too this oh, you're too that that brings up another one <laughs> it's your genetic nothing it has a little bit to do with it but only the way that your muscles develop like for example some girls can get the perfect eight pack that are like exactly next to one another some girls muscles are off a little bit some girls develop obliques more than center abs that's that is genetics but, but don't let your genetics stop you from trying to achieve a healthy physique if you work hard enough at it you will build it and you will change it and it's it's consistency that's what it Everything's is. Everything's consistency. And if you don't push yourself to a limit greater than you think you can achieve, you'll never feel that amazing feeling. You won't ever get that feeling of accomplishment if you don't put yourself outside of your comfort zone. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Exactly. Because that's the only way you're going to achieve change. Because even though people are trying to be nice, don't get too skinny, don't get too big. I don't so know. while you're getting too skinny, and while you're looking like a man, yeah. and while you're being ignored by all your friends because you refuse to eat anything that they eat, just remember, stay, stay strong. Stay strong. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. Focus on your goals. Stay the course. And because you're doing this for you, and that's all that matters. And there are other people in this world that understand what you're going through. Find them, follow them, declutter your life. Yeah, surround yourself with positivity, and do you. You do you, boo. Okay, our Instagram handles, if you don't already follow us, are at Erin Real Fit and at Jenna underscore Durats underscore all underscore things underscore fit. So I couldn't make it any possibly longer. Bye. Peace out.